Good morning, Daily Bible Time. Dominic Steele here. Christmas Eve. <laughs> and, uh, we've been looking through 10 passages that uh, Glenn Scrivener from the UK put up as potential passages to preach on tomorrow, Christmas Day. And we're at the 10th one from the last book of the Bible, Revelation and Revelation chapter 12. Now, this won't be our passage tomorrow because we preached on this passage 2018, so two years ago. However, it is a fantastic passage to speak on in Christmas Day, I think. And so uh, let me tell you, Revelation 12, um, it's the background. In Revelation, it's picture language, and uh, it's not so much exact photograph of events, but kind of Picasso, impressionistic sense of the vibe, and uh, but nevertheless, absolutely true. Revelation 12, verse 1, a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, the moon under her feet, and a crown of 12 stars on her head. Well, who is she? Well, this is important. She's clothed with the sun. She stands on the moon. She has a crown of 12 stars. And the account goes on. It becomes clear that this woman is a vision of the church of God, the people of God. And, verse 2, she was pregnant and cried out in labor and agony as she's about to give birth. And Bible readers will put their heads back to the old vision back in Isaiah, where in Isaiah 7, 14, there's a prophecy of a sign where the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive, give birth to a son, and they'll call him Emmanuel. And here is the sign, the virgin with child. And so the woman, she's the church, she's Mary, she's the bride of Christ. And another sign, verse 3, at the appearance of this sign, the stakes get higher. Another sign appeared in heaven. There was a great, fiery, red dragon. He's fearsome, he's deadly, he's intimidating, having seven hands and ten horns, and on its heads were seven crowns. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in heaven and hurled them to the earth. I mean, this is the devil, this is Satan, this is evil incarnate. With the woman about to give birth, with the first Christmas about to happen, the scene is set for the ultimate showdown between good and evil, between God and evil. I mean, if the story you've of Christmas that you've been told about is Santa and chimneys, you're missing out. There's a better story. If the story of Christmas that you've been told about is the birth of Jesus, well, that is true. But you have to get there are cosmic issues at stake. The devil is out to conquer. And the dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that when she did give birth, it might devour her child. So what's being spoken of there is the moment when Jesus is born, when King Herod hears about it, he orders a massacre of the murder of every baby boy aged under two in the Bethlehem neighborhood. How is the devil acting through Herod to devour the child? But that wasn't the end of the devil's attack. Right through the life of Jesus, the devil's out to attack him, and even and especially at the moment of Jesus' death and burial. What happens? Well, she, five, gave birth to a son, a male, who's going to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God, and to his throne. So verse 5, it's a very short account of the birth, life, death, burial, and ascension to heaven of Jesus. She gives birth to Jesus. He grows up in Palestine, 30 years old. He starts his public ministry. The devil's attacks escalate, culminating in his brutal murder, his crucifixion. But death couldn't hold him. He rises from the dead. He ascends into heaven. Where is Jesus now? Seated on the throne of heaven next to his father God. And verse 5, Revelation 2, the child is caught up to God and to his throne. The, the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared by God to be nourished there are 1,260 days. And now this is the experience of the people of God. Living is not totally comfortable in this world in the wilderness. But the ch complexity of living in the wilderness, the people of God, the church of God, are protected by God, looked after, needs met by God. And here's the big thing. Christmas marks the start of a long predicted global war, not just global but cosmic, a spiritual war. Then war broke out in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And a few years ago, when I did speak on this passage, I went to talk with my wife and younger son, my younger son who was 18 at the time, and I said, I'm thinking of speaking at Christmas on this passage, and I read out the passage. And Kath said, well, people who are new, they'll think you're crazy. And my son said something like, Dad, that passage is awesome. All the teenage boys will be totally with you. So teenagers, verse 7, a war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Now this is bigger than anything that happened in Star Wars and it's real. The dragon and his angels also fought. 
but he couldn't prevail. There was no place for them in heaven any longer. There's a great rebellion against God led by the devil, but the devil can't win. So the great dragon is thrown out, the ancient serpent who's called the devil and Satan, the one who deceives the whole world, thrown to the earth and his angels with him. This is predicted right at the start of the Bible. Adam and Eve, there in the garden. The devil has led Adam and Eve to the first sin. And there's the prediction that the devil will fight. But ultimately, the devil's head will be crushed. And it's at that moment of the death and resurrection of Jesus that the devil's head is crushed. That's what happens now. Application, we are not neutral bystanders. All of us are deeply involved. From the moment of Adam and Eve's sin, you and I have been compromised. All of us are under the devil, under Satan. There are no good men. There are no good people. And Jesus is born at Christmas, born of a woman, born of a virgin. His mission, God's mission, war against the devil, war against the dragon, cosmic fight. We need him to win. And he does win. He succeeds. Good triumphs over evil. God triumphs over evil. God triumphs over the devil, the dragon. And Satan is cast down which ultimately is why we've gone on and on and on and on about Christmas for 2,000 years. Hey, thanks for joining us on Daily Bible Time today. Look forward to your company, either in person at Village Church, 9 o'clock tonight, and there's still room, we'd love to see you, or um, tomorrow, Christmas Day. And again, um, I'm pretty confident we'll be absolutely fine in numbers, and so do come along. And we'd love for you to be part of celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ with us. Thanks for being with us. See you tomorrow. God bless.